Hello out there YouTube, this is the JFK video. Uh, despite having 25 years to prepare for the release of the JFK files, the CIA kept many records classified stating that the redactions were needed out of concern for national security. Well, okay, we have uh, uh, some of the videos that are posted online. Look, uh, Governor Connolly, Connolly uh, sitting in the back, and there's the driver up front. See that? There's no post, no pillar. There's no six-seater. And notice how Connolly in this uh, has no uh, 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 white flower on his collar. And see over here in all the books? There's Connolly. He's got a white flower. Okay, you know, uh, and then we come down here that all the black and white, you know, in color, I mean, uh, Connolly doesn't have a, a flower on, her, uh, on his uh, collar and he's wearing the hat and he's not wearing the hat in these ones. See that? He looks very young here and he looks kind of like some old guy, some old geezer in that picture for some reason. I don't know. It, maybe it's just me, but that looks like an old geezer. That looks like a young kid. I don't know. Uh, uh, JFK assassination, uh, uh, zip app, uh, you know, 68% of people remembered the four-seater. Go ask around town what everyone else remembers. Look at my YouTube videos. Okay, this picture in all the books, there's a missing pillar. Uh, there's missing people. Count them. Uh, there's, like, maybe the rearview mirror because, like, the driver's sitting in the very center. kind of looks off. Um, so, uh, yeah, that one's kind of <laughs> doctored or something's weird with that one. Four-seater, six-seater, whatever. Um, this was a stock photo off of... Uh, uh, Google, um, someone uh, had basically, uh, you know, uh, went to the little uh, uh, place uh, where it was and showed the photo and took a picture of it. And there's the four seater um, that most people remember. And here's another picture of the four seater. And this one was from the Department of Naval uh, 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 Aid, um, John F. Kennedy Presidential Library and Museum. And it shows the Secret Service guy there running. Uh, towards the four seater. See that? There's no post. There's no pillar. Um, and you know. Um, why is the car white all of a sudden that's a very good question you know um the, the pictures at the uh, uh when when they went to the uh, uh uh like the museum or wherever they went to uh, you know uh, there was a, a a a white car with the red with the red you know um flip ups for the visors and so uh uh you know uh it used to be black or maybe it's white now because the ink in the videos and the ink the virtual ink has all changed it's a good possibility Mandela effect, uh, you know, Bernstein Bears, virtual ink, ink is virtual, uh, you know, s cyber space, reality, virtual reality, uh, what is reality, what is time, time, okay, uh, and so here, we got, uh, Life, okay, Life magazine, right after JFK gets shot and killed, this guy takes office, he, he looks like you can trust him, right, wrong, uh, okay, he's a Texan, wow, just like Bush, and he's like oil and stuff, huh, that kind of seems strange, he got, JFK got killed, got replaced by a Texan, uh, and then look what they put in, uh, you know, Life Magazine, Chevrolet building a better way to see USA, really? Like, like, with like that? That's like Syria and Iraq, that's like all destroyed now. Uh, yeah, building a better way, sir, you want to sell them some cars, I, I get it. Next was airtime and fraud from Marvin P in 2000, uh, okay, uh, 9-11, but uh, anyway, um, yeah, see that? That guy, trustable, right? No, jock itch isn't something lightly to be treated. You know, you wonder uh, why they put that there. Uh, shake up at FBI, the daring head surgeon they call Ted Terrific. This was off, you know, well, Time Mag. So this is the way I see it. This is what it would look like if the government actually was transparent and told you the truth of, you know, New York Stock Exchange, where all the technology comes from, uh, hackers, uh, you know, and Hillary uh, and the pay to play system. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, all the fraud and abuse that FBI and the government, Secret Service, intelligence agencies, NSA, RSA, uh, you know, all of them do to, uh, you know, for all this, uh, for all this technology, they, they'll do anything. Um, uh, George Bush's new uh, world order on 9-11, uh, you know, he uh, uh, basically said he won't stop uh, at anything, any cost until he gets what he wants. And, uh, you know, George Bush and the Clintons, they all helped him do it. Um, so, you know... Um, I just got, you know, a lot of these records here uh, uh, about what, you know, um, the evidence was brewing, massive cover-up, uh, Bush Cheney, Pop Goes the Wiener, we got, uh, you know, Laptop Fixer, uh, uh, Cyber, as president, I vow to wipe out cyber terrorism and protect us, you mean like with a cloth? Yeah, exactly. Yep, look at him, FBI head, he just got shit canned, you're fired. Oh, that was great, I love it. Here's his career, uh, Counterterrorism Division, uh, National Security Branch. Uh, here's Bush's ex director He's the head of FBI now. Well, you know about Intel and inside. Uh, how the rich uh, control policy making? Yeah, that's about right. <laughs>
Oil for Food Program. Wow. Hey, Bush, remember me? 1995, dissolved in 2003 when you invaded Iraq and you made sure that, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, UN in 1995, right before I released my uh, Windows program and all the cell phone software, was, uh, was established to uh, allow Iraq to sell oil on the world market in exchange for food, medicine, and other humanitarian needs. And this was, uh, you know, uh, all the oil money and uh, uh, cash, you know, traded in American dollars. And that's, you know, not happening anymore. Russia's backed out and there's no longer the, you know, gasoline uh, trade fraud that's going on in uh, basically... Yeah, uh, petrodollars is what they call it. Uh, you know, um, the uh, uh, Federal Reserve uh, uh, manipulating interest rates and doing bank fraud and uh, lots of stuff going on here, guys. Uh, you know, I've invented Windows CE, uh, 1996, uh, November 16th clock started. You know, I tried to get it uh, uh, copyright patented, uh, broke into the, you know, security, uh, you know, uh, quantum security keys in Yahoo and emailed the patent office and they, they thought I was joking and they laughed at me. And they just, you know, allowed just fraud to just keep continue, you know, just the fraud, just endless amounts, just, you know, just doesn't slot, stop, you know, these people are money laundering, they got, you know, access to, you know, uh, making uh, whatever they want inside the IRS and doing whatever they want um, with no, uh, you know, oversight uh, committees, um, you know, there's the, there's the lower floor of 9-11 when it blew up, the basement down there, they had some bombs. You know, you remember the lady coming out screaming, her fucking ears hurt and shit, and she had to go to the hospital, and some guy, like, she couldn't even see, she's blinded, she, you know, she's deaf after that, and some guy helped her to the hospital, and I think he ended up getting killed. Uh, uh, yeah, do you trust that guy? Uh, no. He's a fraud, too. I mean, who is that right there? Uh, uh, I pledge allegiance to the United Deep State of America. Yeah, that's about right. All right, here we go. All... All paid some, some paid all. Some some made thirty nine point five billion off of that transaction. That was a good one. And USAA too. Man, how much money did they make for defrauding all their members? Uh, you know, doing all this. Hey, remember when DB Slee slipped up and said uh, World Trade Center hasn't actually collapsed yet, but it did. Hey, that's cool. Oh, it was sure, for sure nice of the U.S. to drop terrorism finance sanctions against uh, the Saudi Arabians and then release a 9-11 commission report and say that the money didn't actually matter and, you know, don't follow it. And then remember Bob Creamer when he uh, tried to uh, uh, rig the DNC? Um, and look at that in the background. Huh. Pit, fix Bush's Part D disaster. Yeah, what kind of disaster was that? Uh, uh, oh, is Obama Clinton's punishment covering for something? Maybe that Obama's not freaking actually American. He's born in Kenya. Look it up on YouTube. Say Obama's born in America. You'll see him say it. Yeah, that's right. You know, we give like a proud salute to all the men and women who died in the military over all these frauds. Uh, Judicial Watch. Uh, President Clinton got a get out of jail free card from Comey. I wonder why. Hey, look at these crooks. Missing $2.3 trillion. Uh, 9-11, 9 10 2001 Microsoft Money 99, officers across our nation are being murdered, Pentagon, new cyber mission, yay, just started last year because they're a bunch of fucking crooked idiots, even though the war's been going on for God knows how long, look at the media here, Hillary Clinton's crowd is just tiny and puny, and look at Trump's crowd, just monster status, and the media's going off saying Hillary's got the polls and everything, how funny. This is so funny. Look at the media does. Big bolsters clouds here in Omaha for Hillary Clinton and Warren Buffet. And then look at the reality of it. It's just, uh, are you reporting on the 50 people today that showed up to Hillary in Omaha today? See how the see how they manipulate the pictures to make it look like Hillary's just like, you know, actually like so good, but she's not. Uh, yep. No case here. You remember that one? That was such a good one. It's so funny. Yeah, we got a laptop fixer. We got, uh, you know, Larry Silverstein admitting, uh, you know, the World Trade Center was... Uh, designed all the plans blueprints were done before 9-11 on april 2000 uh remember the missing pages from 9-11 why they haven't released them with the jfk files uh meet me at the tarmac you should listen to some of these songs in the mandela effect videos on youtube about world trade center 7 and uh, uh the mandela effect and the you know everything here uh see my uh youtube you know easy vic 420 um here's what rumsfeld's fucking stupid ass he can't even fucking barely even think before 9-11 without having someone else to, you know, bring him in his newspaper, and he can't even run a freaking conference call very well, because he's just a bogus idiot, he's just, just, just unreal, just crotchety old Rumsfeld complaining he needs to get his newspaper delivered earlier, it's just, turns out the defense department's pretty much like every other business in the world, can't even figure out how to work the phone, let alone freaking wire it up, you know, this is ridiculous, guys. Um, Adam Schiff is worried about Russian bot tweets. It doesn't care about treasonous text messages from an FBI agent. How funny. 
uh, you know, the whole government's involved. All these guys, they call it rushing hacking. What a joke. Panama's law firm leaked details of offshore accounts tied to world leaders where they store all their money, all their fraudulent money. Some of it, you know, most of it. A CIA whistleblower plays by the rules at the CIA and figures out nothing ever gets done. You'd wonder why. Well, the CIA isn't to be trusted, are they? The fired FBI director James Comey in 2014 even said, you can't trust the people in power. How does this do that? Well, that's a damn good question. Does gravity actually sh shove stuff in the air like that high and make the World Trade Center 7 across the street disappear? Just by coincidence, the alleged terrorist managed to strike the budget analysis office at the Pentagon on 9-11. It was here that the DOD Defense Department staff were working on the mystery of the missing $2.3 trillion disclosed by the S Defense Secretary the day before 9-11 happened. Conveniently, the topic of the missing money disappeared along with any reliable trace of the plane that was alleged to have been in, used in the attack. And you can ask Dan Rathers, because he'd rather not see that. Just go on YouTube, type in Dan Rathers, he'd rather you not see this. YouTube, Mandela Effect. Wow, look at all those glitches, that's so cool. Yeah, the war on terror, absolutely. Bush started it because he's, uh, you know, money grubbing, uh, power freak who, uh, uh, you know, him, Jed, and the Clintons had all the technology, they had all the money, all the money's in, guys. Uh, what do we got here? We got, uh, you know, the only ones being punished for the crimes of the U.S. government are those who expose it, Julian Assange. Uh, we got our buddy over here, Manning, Sergeant, and we got our best friend, uh, you know, Snowden. Uh, you know, the war on terror is just made up by Bush and CNN. It's just bogus, phony. Uh, banks agree to settle lawsuit because they are manipulating interest rates. I mean, look at all the fraud. You know, you guys have no idea this computer virus I wrote for you guys. You know, to get the job done. You know, there's, there's World Trade Center 7. The little, you know, these build, these windows are smashed out because the little, uh, uh, the little, uh, whatever you call it up here at the top, the penthouse fell through. Fell through. All those floors just went just gone right there the windows popped out and busted and then when the whole thing came down right when it starts to collapse you can see all the windows out here start to bust out i mean you know frames frames don't frames of buildings don't do that unless there's demo behind it guys i mean you know i don't know there wasn't tiny little fires in there that just made the whole building come down the fbi is just you know their computer system's garbage they don't have any security back then come on you know hacking's easy giuliani suggests clinton oversold 9-11 there's 9-11 commission report, got holes in it like you wouldn't believe, and everyone's still pissed, and CNN won't help, you know, they just get NIST up on there to lie and make some bullshit fucking take habeas corpus out of the goddamn constitution so you can't fucking arrest or do anything to any of these people, you know, it's just no, 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 you know, no debris, I mean, come on, back to the future DeLoreans believe, more believable guys, you know, Bush Cheney comes out on freaking, you know, the news networks on Fox and, you know, basically blames other people for, you know, his Iraq policy and he's got the gall to do that. It's just out of my, you know, just ridiculous, you know, got the gall to come to the country and tell us that it's somebody else's fault. I mean, come on, guys. Clinton, Sanders trying to impunge my integrity after she rigs the DNC and the CNN debate, like, and she still gets to walk free, and that's what the DNC statement was, it's like, on behalf of everyone at the DNC, we apologize, what, apologize that you can throw her in prison, the most fundamental duty of the government is to protect American lives, and anyone who fails to understand that is not fit to hold public office, I'm so sorry, April Gallup, her computer was not up to date, she turned it on, and boom, Mike Hemsworth of the Air Force Intelligence. I got, you know, a little thing for him. I uh, just said a few, you know, uh, building, you know, things about Building 7. And uh, he said it was collapsed because uh, two commercial jets with heavy uh, fuel hit with surgical precision. And uh, uh, I said, you know, I asked for your opinion on World Trade Center 7. And uh, 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 basically, um, he deleted his, uh, you know, account, his Twitter after this. It was gone. I couldn't even talk to him anymore about it because he's just a complete piece of pile of liar and shit. Do you believe the official story of 9-11? Yes, 56% of people believe fucking that stupid garbage they put on CNN. Can't believe it. How many people uh, actually knew about Building 7's free fall collapse? Uh, only, only almost half the people did. You know, only 49% of the people knew. You know, half the people in America don't even know because CNN did such a great job covering it up. I, or reporting on, or not reporting on, or whatever. You know, they waited till 2004 to even release the fucking statement on the fucking investigation. Why so many years, guys? 
How many people think the fake news fools the majority of people? 70% said yes, it probably fools them. They're all fucking stupid idiots. 15 years ago, Hillary Clinton was serving as New York senator. Yes, and she was probably making up a bunch of that garbage news that people believe. You know, because I was hacking them through satellites, you know? I mean, I, I know what the real deal is. You know, this is the real deal right here. Hammond, Stratford hack, you know? Come on. The real deal, look at all these people died, you know, over, over just knowing stuff about, you know, what's going on here. You know, Marvin P., you know, it's got Bertha, you know, I mean, Beverly Eckert lost her husband. She got killed because she's going to testify. You know, 9-11, uh, Bush was, you know, on the board of HEC Insurance Holdings. Uh, Marvin Bush, you know, which was uh, insured parts of the World Trade Center. The company that provided electronic security to the World Trade Center in the days before and after the attack and provided security you know, uh, where Flight 77 took off from, you know, that Marvin P, man, he's, the Bushes, you know, and the Clintons, all of them are, you know, securities fraud, you know, I mean, it's just, you know, right here, Marvin P, the little brother, unknown brother, Bush, you know, uh, was a director of Securicom, Stratasac, a Kuwaiti Saudi-backed company until June 2000, because, you know, these 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 cell phones, these 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 technologies, you know how how you know intelligence agencies work, and I feel bad for the cops. You know these people are running America, and the cops are getting shot up. People are so pissed off. They're just walking into fucking police, you know, it's just environments, and just pulling out a gun and killing them, just like they're pissed, because you know the government's not doing anything to protect the people. So you know, fuck. Poison filled gas giants, you know, in May 2000, the Port Authority lost a 10 year court battle with its insurance company, leaving it to fund a, a $1 billion asbestos removal operation with money it didn't have. However, the day was saved when the arrival of a real estate tycoon who swiftly bought the aging liabilities two months later, specifically insuring them for billions of dollars in case of a total destruction by terrorists. Sure enough, within only six weeks of the towering eyesores were promptly demolished by an alleged gang of timely terrorists bringing forth badly needed closure to a long chapter of financial headaches and that's when uh you know our buddy made millions over there because uh, he didn't have to take out the uh, uh 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 asbestos out of the buildings uh, uh you know uh, our, our best friend dick prick cheney and you know and look what they do to you know uh their systems that are meant to be updated fees meant to update 911 systems get diverted for other uses so they can just do more fraud and, and, and not have to account for any you know of their actions Mueller adds a cyber crime prosecutor like yeah who you, you know like seriously who's he gonna add that's actually gonna fucking do anything for America and represent their people just another revolving door of crooked ass lawyers and they'll be taking sick leave just like uh, McCabe and James Baker getting re reassigned. That guy's a crook. James Baker, call me reassigned him. James Baker was the freaking fraud who helped them defraud the, you know, the recount in Florida. It's just so ridiculous, you know, just spying on these guys. Here's my friend, you know, he came back from the war. I asked him if he knew anything about Building 7 on 9-11. He's like, nope, nope. I'm just like running around killing everyone. I don't know anything about like why I'm doing it, I guess, because... Nope, they forgot to mention that part. You know, sorry, <laughs> James Comey, what a snake. And I don't know if you guys watched, you know, this, uh, you know, when Clinton says Pentagon bombed, but that's hella funny. And the, you go watch Bush bloopers. Type in Bush bloopers on YouTube. You see how stupid the guy is, you know. All paid some, yeah, some paid all. You know, some gave their life for these pricks to make all this money, and USAA's cashing in, and they fucked me over so bad. You know, deleting content to improve search. Yeah, that's what she said. Ha, 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 ha. And you know what? Guys, I'll show you this right now. I got, you know, Bill of Rights, do not cross. Uh, here's my search logs uh, that they conveniently deleted off of the fucking internet because they didn't want you to see. Uh, basically how they rigged uh, online in the future and, and in the past and how they got, you know, basically where all the money went from all of it and how they just, you know, forgot to just, you know, pay me and just leave me in the hospital and say I'm crazy. So, you know, that's cool. You know, I built quantum uh, uh, encryption keys for Yahoo servers and, uh, you know, I built my certificates and, uh, uh, you know, uh, I have a signature on them. Uh, it's an algorithm, you guys. You guys, you know, there is a digital millennium copyright act, okay? Uh, you know, these talk, clocks, these timers, the AENT, you know, the specific dates they were started, okay? Uh, you know, these people mess with my air timers, all right? I have BIOS clocks and crystals in my computer that I flash the memory to. These are, these are core processes. Uh, 
that, that shouldn't be, you know, um, cashed in on and sold out for wars, all right? Uh, you know, I still have my core. I still have my core files. See that? See my dates, all right? I still have I still have all this shit, guys. My dream store. Come on, 910. Uh, you know, look at the file size. It's it's just, you know, it's an update these guys didn't want. Okay, so, but I had the update, and I just went and d installed it anyway. They can go fuck themselves, you know, Sprint. Okay. We got, you know, the network. Planning. Planning. A provider. Uh, RSOP planning mode. Not planning mode, guys. Planning mode, okay? It's freak. 9-13-2005. I was trying to re-roll back the time. You know, I had these AOL stuff, you know, uh, that we could roll back the clock with, because... You know, it, it wasn't already, it wasn't all set and done until I had to hit the button on that guy right there. Never forget that one. That's where it all synchronized and all our realities merged, but it, they all the clocks didn't merge and finally merged until 2012 and the, or 2011, the leap second. You know, that's when it happened. You know, there's an unseen internet. There are online worlds where few of us will never go. Operators, we will never know. False identities, I used to make hundreds of them in any year I want. Political meddling, rivers of digital currency. What power do those on the internet realms have? Are we safe? Are we protected? You know, that's a good question. Cybersecurity, time, you know, what is it? What is NIST? What is synchronicity of configuring spectrum forensics? You know, I mean, what is crystals and BIOS and chipsets? What is CERN? You know, what is time? What is it? Where's my money? What, who made the money? Follow the money, guys. I mean, you know, loading libraries, restore. I mean, you know, people delete information online that shouldn't be deleted, okay? You know, I mean, it's just fraud. It's too much fraud going on here, you know? Look, where's the missing trillions? You know, look at the Federal Reserve. Nine, hundred, nine billion, nine trillion, I mean, missing. Pentagon, 2.3 trillion missing, I mean... You wonder why, you know, Trump hired 1,400 auditors, you know, uh, uh, accountants. I mean, come on. Who is Robert Mueller? Just started uh, 9, you know, 4, 2001, right before 9-11. Habeas corpus gone. Bush slips up, admits explosives were used. Petrodollar recycling. USAA, you know. These guys have been around for so many years, you know, since like 19 fucking whatever, 11, 1922. They, they would know for sure how to scam everyone by now. They've got it down. I built all their email systems so they could get out of that monster Pentagon building that was huge that they had all the people, you know, chicken scratching, writing on pencils and papers and shit doing, you know, before there was fax. They were, they were just doing snail mail. It was fucked. Snail mail and telephones, all they got. USAA started in 1922, you know? It's just like, fuck, guys. What, you know? It's my friends. It's like, you know, they're... Why does USAA focus on domestic corporate bonds versus treasury key contributors? I mean, come on, think about it, guys. I mean, go to their website and look at them. Choosing between military recruitment plans, raising questions with military. Yeah, they, they don't give a fuck. Go ask the people who worked for them. I got it on my USAA fraud uh, Facebook page, you know. You can see the, the old workers are saying, yeah, it's a bunch of garbage, you know. There's the bulk of the investigation about World Trade Center 7. This provided a preliminary report in June 2004. Why was it fucking so late, guys? Come on. Why was my data online deleted? I mean, think about it. You know, go to tunes.org and try to see to find the dates for 9 10 2005. Ask them why they deleted it and why I still have a copy. You know, tenants in the building. Larry Silverstein couldn't find a tenant, un was unable to find tenants for his remaining space. You remember when BBC slipped up? I mean, come on. Larry Silverstein, poet. You ever seen that video? Yeah, look at that one. There's my algorithm. Look at Bush. The book Bush was holding on 9-11 has changed to My Pet Goat. From My Pet Goat to The Pet Goat. Excuse me. And, yeah, and, and Carrie. Carrie even had it on, uh, he had it right on Mad TV down there, you know. He had it down there. He was said, you know, uh, uh, My Pet Goat. You know, America's Conspiracy, the 9-11 Commission, Robert Mueller, you know, September 4th. You know, Mueller reminded back when he was FBI director, now special counselor, he worked with Islamist organizations, including those with documented ties to terrorism, to purge the FBI's anti-terror training manual of material deemed offensive to Muslims? I mean, fuck, this is war. Is that what you do in my times of war? Or you just rig the system and rig everything? Justice, error. Government, error. You know, I mean, antitrust? Seriously, guys. You know, Enron, cybersecurity framework. You know, our, our crop circles, our cornfields. 
our internet security, the science of 9-11, you know? Evidence suggests a massive scandal is brewing at the FBI. No, really? The DOJ doesn't do anything about it? It's like, fuck, guys, come on. Where's, where's, where's all the time? Where's all the money? Where's, you know, I mean, all of it's connected. None of it disappears. You know, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice, on guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. Digital Copyright Act, you know? Crime scene, do not cross.